Well, hey crafty friends, it's Heidi Scott with DIY Dreaming. I hope you're having a wonderful day. On this video tutorial, I'm gonna show you how you can turn some cruddy paint brushes or new ones, just inexpensive chip brushes, into the most adorable Santa ornaments. So, and I'm gonna show you a variety of them. But anyways, super cute really easy and you guys this would be such a fun project to do with your kids and grandkids so as you're hopping on say hi let me know where you're watching from feel free to sprinkle that's what helps my little business here uh feel free to ask questions at the very end i'll get you links because we're going to use two adorable stencils for this project and I want to remember also to show you some other ornaments that I'm working on. So stay with me. I am doing some super cute stuff. So stay with me to the end and we'll talk about that if I remember. <laughs> okay, so basically what we're gonna do is we're turning cruddy brushes into little Santas. This part right here is Santa's top of his hat. This part right here is gonna be the band of fur around the top of his hat. This down here is his beard. And um, we're gonna use these little white pom-poms, but you could use whatever you have for his nose. And we're gonna use this fabric that I bought yesterday at Walmart for the hat, okay? And then we're using your choice. It's up to you. Whether you like white craft paint or creamy color. Uh, they both look great. I have, I think I have examples of both here, but for today I'm using white. And then we're gonna use some red craft paint, your choice of color. Okay, so let's start at the very beginning. All right, the first thing you're gonna want to do is create Santa's beard, okay? And to do that, like I said, this your paintbrush can be as cruddy as you like. Don't throw them away, save them, um, because you can use them for this project. Even if they're yucky up here, it absolutely does not matter. So I'm just opening up my little thing of Waverly White Matte Finish No Prep Acrylic Paint from Walmart, and I'm sticking my brush in, and I just am trying to get it on all of my brush, bristles, bristles, whatever, okay? That's what it looks like, it's messy. And then in a bowl, I'm just gonna kinda, I want his beard to look kind of messy. So however you wanna spread the things around and then you can leave it like this to dry. It's perfectly okay if you get paint here. It's probably not the best to get the paint clear up here. So let me get a wipe and I'm gonna clean that off because that'll be something we'll be painting over with red. I'm a messy crafter. <laughs> How about you? So I see lots of people on, you guys, this is such a cute project. Oh my gosh. And I have so many fun things coming up. <sighs> of course, We'll still do, be doing some projects that are, you know, fall, Thanksgiving related. We'll be doing some that are not any season related. And we're starting to really amp up the Christmas uh, kind of stuff. So I hope, I hope you like what you're seeing here at DIY Dreaming. Okay. Just getting that off my hands. So this is what we have. And I'm gonna leave that to dry a few hours. Um, if you use the creamy color, this is kind of what it looks like compared to this. Either way is just fine. Use whatever you have on hand. No need to go out and buy a different kind of white or creamy color paint. Okay, the next step is to paint our paintbrush. And I did the beard on this one earlier today so that I could just jump right ahead and show you all the steps. We're getting to the really cute part, so stay with me. Oh my gosh, this is such an adorable project. I am, 
I have been saving, I've got some that are finished over here. I have been saving my brushes for a while in anticipation of doing this project. And, um, okay, where did I get the idea? Well, I think somewhere along the way, on Pinterest maybe, I saw a Santa paintbrush, but it didn't look like my Santa paintbrush. So I just started thinking about my red Christmas, red and cream Christmas tree that I'm doing this year. And I put my own spin on an idea that I saw on multiple places. Um, so this is Heidi's <laughs> version of a Santa paintbrush. And um, here's something to tell you. Okay, Santa's hat does not have to be red. If you're doing a black and white tree, you could do his hat black. Or if you're doing grays, you could do his hat gray. Or if you're doing purple or teal or whatever, you can do his hat any color you want because it's the, it'll still be obvious that it's Santa, even if um, it's not your traditional Christmas colors. And my normal style would be to do gray. <laughs> but I'm, I'm going way out there this year with all this red, so, and I'm having a ton of fun. Okay, so I just put, you know, one messy coat on here, and I would probably come back, can you see where the, the word's on that? I would come back in an hour or something and put one more coat of red so that your, um, so that we don't see the words on the paintbrush. And again, any kind of red paint works just fine. Okay, so let's go on to the next step. The next step is to decorate. Oh, and by the way, you can just buy brand new brushes. If you don't have any yucky ones, they work too. And you can get the least, ex look on Amazon, you know, look at your local hardware store, look in your garage, um, and they can be however big or small you want. So I just wanted to make sure that you knew that it doesn't have to be only used yucky brushes. It could be brand new too. Okay, so then the next step was after I painted, and I had the beard on. I went outside and I sprayed um, a good coat on the front and back of this matte clear spray sealer. This is Rust-Oleum brand American Accents two times ultra cover matte clear. It came from Walmart, but you can use whatever kind. And if you like glossy, if you want it shiny, then choose a gloss. But I use this stuff all the time and it's you know, $4-ish, and it lasts a long time, so, so I recommend that. Okay, so this one right here does not have the beard on it yet. I'll come back and do that later, but I just wanted to show you the next step because it's so cute, and I have some examples over here that you're just going to absolutely die when you see them. Okay, so I'm doing a bunch of ornaments on my tree this year that have either this ticking stripe or polka dots. Um, and if you wanna be able to keep up with some of the projects that we're doing, this these two stencils would be a good choice. And then grab some red and some white and probably some black chalk paste as well. And I'll get you links when I'm all finished. But let's use this one for now. Okay, so I'm gonna choose which side and honestly, it does not matter one single bit. I sprayed it because I want a crisp outline. So what do you guys think so far? Do you like this idea? I mean, it's so easy. Uh, if you do, I would love it if you would sprinkle. And if you don't know what that means, um, it's just, to, there's a little button that says S-H-A-R-E below here and you just click that and put this video on your social media so your friends and family can see. And that's all there is to it. So I would love it if you would sprinkle, which is S-H-A-R-E. There's a little button down here. Okay, so I've just laid my stencil on and we're gonna use white chalk paste because this is red. We're decorating Santa's hat. 
I have two versions of it to show you. Um, so I'm just going to take some chalk paste and very easily and quickly I'm applying it up from the where the little metal like top is and I'm looking to make sure that I'm getting this on the whole front of my paintbrush okay so I think you can see what it looks like. I don't want to lift it up because I don't want to mess it up. So I'm just going to take my, oh, and, <coughs> excuse me. If this was brand new, this stencil, I've used it quite a bit. I would fuzz it. These green ones are super sticky and they need to be fuzzed. They can be fuzzed on your shirt, on a pair of jeans, on an actual fuzzing cloth. Um, but since this is an old loved stencil, I did not fuzz it. Oh my gosh, it's so cute. Okay, I'm going to go throw this over here. Push it in the water. And this is what you get. It almost looks like a candy cane. This is a great stencil, especially for Christmas. Okay, so I've already done one up to this point, and I'm gonna show that to you. I'm gonna set this guy aside with the one that we just painted so I don't mess those up. Okay, and let's, let me put my chalk stuff away as we move on to the next step, which is where it gets really fun. Okay, so this is the one that I did earlier with that ticking stencil. You could do both sides if you want. I did paint the front and the back, uh, but I don't think you necessarily need to do that because we're just going to put the face on one side, okay? Also, at the same time, I used this one, this polka dot stencil, which is adorable, and it comes with another piece that's a mini plaid, so this is a good stencil to have too, and I did this. <laughs> Isn't that so cute? So I just used the white chalk paste, not ink, chalk paste. And when these were dry, I gave them another coat of clear matte sealer. Okay, so now we're gonna move on to the fun part. Um, okay, so we're gonna first do our Santa nose. And I'm using these little pom-poms that I picked up yesterday at Walmart. I'm gonna cut them off of the little thing that they're on. You could use a bead or a button. A button would be cute too. Or whatever you have to do the nose if you don't have pom-poms. And they could also be light pink. It's just, you know, whatever you want. Okay, so we're gonna do Santa's hat right here. And I do want to remember to tell you something that I forgot <laughs> um, that makes it cuter. So I'll come back to that. It's this one right here. I want to show you. Um, so I'm going to put the nose just at the very top of where the bristles go into the metal. Um, when I did this one, when I used it, I, was, I didn't know what, how I was going with it. So I had painted white all the way up there. But obviously, you don't need to do that. You can if you want, but you don't need to do that. So I'm just going to glue my noses on, my little Santa noses. Uh-oh, I'm not plugged in. Dang. I guess I'll plug in and I'll show you this thing that, that I learned <laughs> while we're waiting for that to heat up. Okay, I personally think that it's a little bit cuter when you can see some of the color of the bristles for Santa's face um, just below his hat. So can you see how on this one, which I did this one just as an example to show you that you can do it plain. It's much cuter when you embellish his hat. But look, see how this part right here? I think that is cuter. And this is one I'm going to show you in just a minute too. Can you see how? You can see kind of Santa's cheeks. 
So um, you can go all the way up to the top or not. It's up to you. Okay, and these are the two that we're working on, but let me show you this one while we're waiting for my glue to heat up. Okay, for this one, I did all those same steps, and I'll show you this in just a second, and I'll show you how to do this part too. And then I just took one of my favorites, this marker from the set from Magnolia, which I'll get you a link if you want it. Lots of you guys have these now because I swear I use them every other day. <laughs> They're just a great crafting supply and you don't even have to use them with stencils, but you can use them on a zillion different things. Okay, so I used white and I just made polka dots. Just by hand, randomly. You could do zigzags, you could do whatever design you like. So. Okay, let's see, is my glue gun getting hot? What is going on here? It is getting hot. Well, while I'm waiting on that, let me jump ahead a couple of steps to tell you that, um, to show you some ornaments, that I'm gonna do a whole tutorial on these ideas. So one is, you know, these little blocks that you can get from Dollar Tree? I painted this one red and I used that same adorable ticking stripe. And we're gonna embellish this with a tin Christmas tree like I did on this one. So we'll do a video with these two combined where I show you how to make these two styles of ornaments. And then I was talking about this yesterday. I bought a whole bunch of clothespins. Then I'm going to show you a big variety of different ways that you can make clothespin ornaments. And this one I just did in red. I even got out my red glitter, which made a huge mess. But um, I personally like them when they're a little bit more uh, planer, but this project, this will be a separate video, and this would also be super fun to do with your kids, and imagine if you have like a little kitty or grand kitty tree, you could do pink, light blue, purple, I mean, you could do absolutely whatever you like with this, so this will be a separate video, sometime probably this week, so I have lots of good stuff coming up, and I'm having so much fun. Okay, let's see, is my, it's sort of hot, that'll work. Okay, can you see where I put Santa's nose? Just right below the silver band. Let's do it on this one. And don't worry if you get the silver band messy because we're gonna cover it up, okay? Here are our two Santas. This one has the polka dot, that it's called uh, dot and mini plaid stencil. I'll get you links when I'm all finished, but you can say link in the comments if you want. And this one has the ticking, which I think really reminds me of candy canes, and it's the perfect stencil to have for Christmas projects. So, Okay, so then the next step is we're gonna make our little fur band on Santa's hat. And this was the ribbon that I bought yesterday. So let me see how big it needs to be. Cut two, so we're gonna do both of them. Okay, and this by itself, this way would be way too wide. So I'm going to cut the little wired part off and then I'm gonna trim down about three quarters of it. And that may still be, that's perfect, okay. So let me do this one also.
This fur wired ribbon came from Walmart yesterday. Um, it, I did a whole video yesterday of all the amazing stuff that I picked up at Walmart. I got some amazing Christmas ornaments, some great craft supplies, and this was one of the things that I got. It was in the Christmas section, but if you missed that video, it's here, and it may give you some ideas. Um, we talked about oh, ice skates and all kinds of fun future projects that we're going to be doing, but this is what it looks like. Okay, so then I'm just going to put some glue on the front of my Santa and stick his little hat band on here. Just wrap this around. And get those darn pesky glue strings off. And dun da da! Isn't it cute? Here's the plain version. Well, I'll show you how to do this in just a second. Here's the polka dot version, the mini polka dot version. And I'm going to do this one now. The big polka dot version. This kind of reminds me a little bit of that whole mountain craze that's going on, or that's been going on for a while, where you can't see the eyes or the top of the head, you can just see the beard and the nose. Um, but this is Santa. And this craft would be so fun to do with grandkids, seriously, or kids, or grown-ups, <laughs> grown-up ladies. If you do bunko or book club or you have a crafting club or anything, this would be, it's so easy and it's super fun. And you can customize it to whatever your colors are for your Christmas. And you could give these as gifts, they'd be cute. So let me hold them all up and show you, and then I'll show you how to do the, um, how to do the little ties. Okay, let's see if I can hold on to all of these at the same time. Without covering it all up. I'll get pictures. Okay, so what I did to create this tie to hang this on my tree was I took some of this red gross grain ribbon that I showed you guys yesterday from Walmart. What I like about this is it's not shiny and it's the per perfect width. So just cut yourself a long piece. You can always cut it shorter. And I folded it in half roughly. Pinch the end of it. Okay, now I have to remember which way did I go? I went from the back to the front, I think. And I pulled this out and over the back. So this is the point. I pulled it over the top of Santa's hat. So it looks like that. And then I pulled the tails through it. And then you just end up with kind of a little knot on the back. And then, so can you guys see that? You could hang it however you want. I just wanted the hanging to kind of disappear. Then I just put some glue on the back top and pushed it into that. And then I will tie a knot up here at the top, maybe. And then I'll just cut my two pieces.
piece this off with at an angle. And there you go. So I did the same thing on all of these. I haven't done this one yet, but that's pretty much it. So what do you guys think? Um, do you like it? I um, am using the same two stencils as these two in one of the next projects that we'll do probably tomorrow or if I just can't stand it because I'm not great with waiting, maybe later today. We'll see. Um, but I use these same two stencils, the, the ticking stripe and the dot and mini plaid for this. And these are the same stencils that we're using on this ornament and this one. This one has a little tree cut out of the Dollar Tree, excuse me, cookie tins. And I'm going to do the same thing on this one. And I'll show you, I had a lot of questions because I posted pictures of this before I did the video here. I had a lot of questions about this. I'll show you in the next video how to do that. So if you want to make sure that you see, um, do a this or a this or say something to me in the comments so that Facebook sees you engaging. That's the key thing. And then make sure that you've liked and followed DIY Dreaming and be watching because uh, this probably will be the next thing that we'll do, these two. The basic stuff came from Dollar Tree, so I'll tell you all about that. I'll show you how I cut out my Christmas tree. I'm not sure how we're going to hang this one, but I'll get that figured out. And that will either be later today or tomorrow. So this is the ticking, super duper cute, and this is the polka dot. And they both have chalk paste on them. Now I would go outside when I'm all, all finished and give these one final light coat of the spray and then they're done. And coming up very soon, I'll show you how to make these. Anyways, thank you guys so much for joining me. I'm gonna come back now and read all the comments. Please let me know if you want the links to this or this or the taking stencil, which is taking a bath over here. Just say link in the comment and I'll get you all of that. I'll also give you a link for this in case you wanna do this kind. Okay. Have a great rest of your day, everyone. I will get pictures. I'll put them in the comments here as I always do. And also I'll create a separate post here on DIY Dreaming with pictures of the crafts. Oh my goodness, and thank you so much to everyone who did stars. Wow, that is so, so kind of you. I really appreciate it. See you later.